Welcome back to my channel. You've been creating characters in Midjourney for quite a while. You like many of the characters you've created and want to use the identical characters in other scenes. Yet, through traditional image prompting, it's always been hit and miss whether or not you'll get a character with the same face, hair color, and hairstyle. Well, you're in luck. Midjourney just released a new feature to obtain character consistency, and it's very easy to use. I'll include a link to a PDF document with all the prompts I use to demonstrate this new feature. To start, let's say you have a character image like this that you'd like to replicate. With the new character reference feature called CREF, you can get beautiful images like these. Notice how the original character's face, hair color, and style come through. Also, the original character's features come through, regardless of the pose. You may use external character images as the character reference, yet currently, Midjourney developers recommend that you use images created in Midjourney. I've opened this Midjourney image of a young woman with red hair and freckles from Discord in the browser. I'll copy the address for the image. Next, I'll type the prompt for the target scene for my character, ending the prompt with dash dash CRF and pasting the image address after the CRF parameter. Note that when I initiate the prompt, Midjourney gives me back a shorter link address that I can use in later prompts. Now, I have these four beautiful results where at least three out of the four images look nearly identical to my reference image. Notice how even the hair color and style match the original image. Now let's try this. Here's one of my favorite characters from the Acid Pixie artistic style. I'll put her in a desert scene with a beautiful pink racing car. I really like the resulting images, yet notice how balloons appeared in some of the images. This is because similar balloons were present in the original character reference image. I find it is often preferable to isolate the reference character in front of a neutral gray or white background. I used a prompt like this to isolate the character, giving a result like the one shown. Using the same desert and car prompt as before, I now obtain these four images. The balloons are now eliminated from the scene and my original character is preserved. Similar to the style reference weight parameter, character references may also have a weight applied. This is done with the dash dash CW option. By default, the character weight is zero and the highest value is 100 for an attempt to exactly match the original character's face, hair color, hairstyle, and clothing to the best of the AI's ability. Here are four results of the same prompt with a character weight of 50. I may notice a slightly stronger match to the original character's face, hair color, and style. And here are four additional results with a character weight of 100. In these results, I do notice a stronger match to the original character reference image. Here's an image of another character I really liked in a prior prompt where he was playing billiards. I've isolated him with a white background. I'll give him a happy emotion and put him on stage singing in a nightclub. Here are the four images of my happy singer. I think Midjourney did a great job matching the original character and reflecting the happy emotion as requested. Finally, what if I want to match two different characters in a single scene? You can do this in a two-step process. Here's my target prompt for a two-character scene. My first step is to prompt for the character on the right. When you have multiple characters in a scene, Midjourney will often try to make all the characters look like your reference character, as you see here. No worries, however. I'll just in paint my desired second character using the very region option. 
Once I select the isolated region where I want the second character to be, I'll prompt for the way I want the second character to be positioned. Then, I initiate the new prompt where I include the CRF link address for the second character. And here are the results. We now have two well-matched and consistent characters in a single scene. The character reference feature, along with the updated version 6 style reference feature, brings us a long way to building a library of consistent scenes for short stories and videos. Thanks for reviewing this long-awaited consistent character feature with me. Please consider liking this video so I can bring more AI tutorials and examples your way. Thanks for your interest and support. See you soon. Bye for now.